waste a minute of a child's time. We have them for such a short period. What we do, we, we want it to count where the children are developmentally. We're tracking that on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So what we're doing with the children, we need to be able to verify and quite quickly that it's working. You can't come to Educare just to teach young children. All the young children have their families and you have to be able to teach in the context of those families. We're looking at the child, we're looking at the family, we're looking at the classroom, as well as the school to be able to put all those pieces of data together. Each Educare has a local evaluation partner to manage the data collection, the data management, the data um, coordination, and then to partner with staff at each Educare school in a research program partnership um, to really put that data to use. It's great to see um, data that classroom teachers have gathered and um, what the LEP has gathered, as well as the family's observations and reading over the family surveys and seeing where a family was when they first enrolled in our program and where they are three years later. It's just a richer story that you get when you're looking at multiple sources of data versus just your own source. It's important to look at data throughout the year, not just one particular time, but really looking at data consistently, weekly data, daily data, and making sure that, that we're implementing what we know based on what the information is telling us from all these different data sources. One, two, A teacher may read based on uh, the math information that they receive from the assessment that, that we need to really work more with counting with this child and so they'll go in the classroom maybe the next day and do a one-on-one -on -one fun counting activity with that child that they hadn't been doing before because the data says there's more needed here. Everybody's got to be invested in looking at analyzing and using that data when you when you own it when you've done that analyzation yourself and you own it then your teaching practice is better. And what you do with children and families has more heart, soul, and meaning. Oh no, buzzing close. Bumble. It's on every level. It's with leadership, it's with family support, it's with the mass of teachers. It's not just always about teaching. It's about the whole pro the program as a whole and how data has an opportunity to play a tremendous role in how we do things. This set of twins who went through our data collection process and one of the little boys actually scored average on the PPVT and the other boy scored in the low range. It measures vocabulary. We referred the twins into um, early intervention so they are beginning to receive comprehensive services. But what's interesting is that they were just retested and the one little boy who scored so low he scored 107. What is the family, what's this grandmother doing that in the short amount of time from fall to spring, what has she been doing to improve his score immensely? What the teacher said is that she latched on to all strategies. She came to every single parent meeting that they had. She really was implementing dialogic reading strategies in the home. You can see trends, particularly when you begin to look across several years. So when you take the smaller picture, it can be, oh, we dented it a little bit. When you take the bigger picture, it's like, look at that pattern across the number of years the child was in Educare, or look at the improvement we've seen over four years of data on a classroom observation instrument. And I think that's the exciting part is to having a large you know, span of data to really see the patterns play out over time. We know the tremendous neurological event that happens over those first few years. So why would we want to leave that to chance?